G'day guys, Shane here. Tonight we are testing the Pixel 6 against the S21 Ultra in low light situation. I'll tell you now, the uh, conditions are pretty bloody challenging. The conditions are as such that it's a little bit cloudy, it's a little bit windy, so the cloud's moving through that photo, so the long duration is probably going to hurt the pixel here. We'll certainly see. We're going to do two different things. We're going to try astrophotography mode on the pixel, and we're going to do a 30 second long exposure photo like we normally do with the pro mode on the S21 Ultra, as well as handheld night mode with both of those phones. Let's give it a go. The first photo that we're taking here is a little bit challenging for most phones because I've got some tall trees in the foreground here, and some stars and cloud up behind it there. I'm hoping to get the Southern Cross in this photo. What handles this best is the iPhone so far that I've seen uh, with the foreground element, but we'll try with the pixel. So I'll just use this torch here. I'm just going to light up the trees in the shot there <clears throat> to make sure they're in the photo. So that's helping compose that photo. I'll just level out this tripod. Has to be on a tripod. This is the pixel at the moment. That's leveled out pretty well. I'll get rid of the foreground just a little bit more. So there's the tree. I'll turn that torch off now. Wait for it to turn to astro because it's dark enough and then hit the button. Simple as that. Wait four minutes. So taking a photo right now, what I'm gonna do is shine a little bit of torch onto those trees to light it up just a little bit. That's it. Don't need much more than that. And we'll wait and see how it turns out. To explain the environmental situation at the moment, it's early in the morning. We're about an hour. Uh, before sunrise. There's a cloud moving around us. Winds calm down a little bit, so we should get some color on the horizon as the sun starts to come up with some stars in the sky, some cloud. I'm hoping for a fair bit going on in the sky. It should uh, make this a pretty bloody good photo. It's four minutes. Takes a while. One of the things I really like about the Pixel is as it's building that photo, and that's essentially what it's doing, it's taking 16 second long photos and stacking them on top of each other. As it's doing it, you can see how well the photo is developing. It's pretty cool. Let me just show you. It's pretty cool, eh? Uh, wait a second, we're almost done. It's good. I expected it to be good. There's a nice bit of color on the horizon there. The trees are there. The trees didn't really light up like I would have expected them to, but that just must be in the, the algorithm that it has and the computational photography. All right, the Samsung's in here now. Let's go 800 ISO, 30 seconds, manual focus. Just a touch off infinity. Leave the white balance where it is. It won't matter for what we're doing here. We're shooting raw as well. And we'll hit the button. While it's taking the photo, it's probably already finished to be honest. Um, gotta be mindful of a couple of things. One, the S21 Ultra is going in manual mode here. We're not using night mode. We'll use that in just a second. But it takes 30 seconds. So that's something to weigh up when you're deciding between these two phones if you're looking for nighttime photography. The second thing with the Pixel, it's four minutes and six seconds long. That's the maximum I can get this phone to take a photo. So four minutes versus 30 seconds. I would hazard a guess that I could probably take a good photo with the S21 Ultra, put it into Lightroom, edit the photo, and be done before that four minutes is up. With both of those photos done, we probably want to consider a couple of things. The four minute thing versus the 30 second thing. The four minute photo also gives you a one second time-lapse photo, time-lapse video, this is the one from there. That looks pretty bloody good. You can see the light painting and, and so forth with that photo. But what about just handheld photos? It's bloody dark at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'll take a handheld photo, night mode photo with both of these phones over towards my neighbor there. He's got a fair bit of light going on. Still, I can still see the stars, the sun's starting to come up on the horizon. So it'll be interesting. Let's try it. First up, we're gonna use the Pixel. I will go handheld, it's in night sight. I'm going to keep the horizon a little bit above, but it's got those nice spirit levels there with a zero degree. It gives you a percentage in degrees. I like that. As we take the photo, it's got that circle with the square in the middle, or the cross, I should say. And the idea is that we need to keep that lined up. Now, that didn't go that long. I'm going to try another one, see if I can keep it a little bit more still. Because so that, that uh, cross moved out of the, the circle. Is that, in fact, it's doing it all by itself. Didn't take that long a photo. Let's have a look at the photo. I can see the Southern Cross in there. That's interesting, I don't know if you saw that. The photo kind of developed itself after the fact. Let's try the Samsung. The Samsung's not actually that different. We go into the camera, 
go across to more down the bottom there and go to night. What it does give you is a little bit more of an option there to say, I want to shoot for longer periods. So where it says auto six seconds at the top, if I change that to maximum, I've now got nine seconds. If I touch up there on the, whoop, there we go, there we go. Don't mind me. Auto six seconds, change that to maximum. Touch on the lights out there so it focuses. They're a fair bit away. That's my neighbor's farm. Lock my elbows in, hit start. We're gonna shoot for nine seconds. It doesn't have any um, sort of visual aids to stop you moving around or help to see, help you to identify that you are moving around because you can't really tell. Oh, well, that looks kind of funky. This light's screwing it up. I'm gonna turn this light off and do it again. Now that's surprising. I fully expected the Pixel to be a damn sight better than what it actually is. The Samsung, I think it did a better job. My opinion, let me know what you think. Just put a comment down there. The Samsung or the Pixel in handheld mode. Um, I reckon that the, I think the Pixel, or the uh, Samsung actually has it in handheld night mode. As far as the stuff on the tripod goes, here's those two photos again. Let me know what you think. Which one is better? You gotta keep in mind that the environment of these things is irrelevant. A lot of people ask me about what sort of phone should I buy? Should I buy this Apple 13 Pro? Or should I buy the Samsung S20 Ultra or things like that? And I'll always say, it really depends on the environment that you're in. No one really makes a bad phone these days. Every bloody phone these days is just, it's, we live in a bloody good time. They're making some cracker phones. So when it comes to these two, it doesn't really matter what your environment is because it'll sit there nestled in both of them quite well. But which photo here is better in low light situations? Again, here's the handheld Pixel and here's the handheld Samsung and here's the other two with the tripods. Um, that's, that's interesting, very interesting indeed. Let me know what you think, Have a, just put a comment down the bottom there. I'm, I'm a bit undecided. I think the Samsung has it with the handheld but I think that the Pixel has it on the tripod. Interesting times. What I should be trying is the bloody iPhone, how that looks compared to these two. Eyes on the road, don't lose control. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Catch you later. Fast lane light, riding high, reaching for the sky. I had it all but lost in